hello guys welcome back to my channel and uh, in this video i'm going to show you how to insert the table uh, to insert page numbers and also to insert the calendar so i want you to follow this video to the end so that you can be able to discover more in as far as microsoft word is concerned so to begin with we are going to start you uh, how you can organize your table or how you can insert the table so you will come and click on insert tab where you will see they have written their table and you click on it then you can see that these small boxes here they are also used to insert the what the table as you can see i have already inserted the table using those boxes here so my table is ready to use i can put here some uh, information in that table so I want to go back so that I want to use another method. You can come here to insert tab and then you go to table. So I want to insert table using this uh, tool. So here I will be required to put the number of uh, columns. I want them to be four and uh, I want rows to be 20. So you can use these uh, small buttons here to increase or to reduce. So I click OK. So as you can see, this is my table I have already created. I can use, uh, I can point at it like this so that I can resize uh, for it to be smaller. And then here, maybe I can put here like a number. And then here I can put like uh, items. And then here I put quantity. And then here I can put amount. So I can go ahead by inserting my data in this table and then once I'm done I can decide to print it. So I want to erase this table so that I can use another method for inserting the table. So you will go back to insert tab and then you click on the table and there's this one here where they have said draw the table. So you will have to click on draw the table and you will draw the table manually like this like this you insert your own rows and columns so the advantage of this uh, drawing is that you can draw your own table and you insert different kind of rows and columns in styles so it gives you the way of how you can draw your table in different styles. So this is another method for inserting the table. I want to erase this one so that I can use another method. So I go back to insert tab and uh, I go to table and there's this one here called Excel, uh, Excel spreadsheet. So I can use Excel again to insert the table here. So all I have to do is to click here and it will take me to Excel sheet, but it has been incorporated with Microsoft Word. So here, you see some boxes here, these cells of the Excel sheet, so I can highlight like this, then I come here, then I put borders. So here, the good thing with Excel sheet is that I can decide to calculate uh, some of the data in that table there, and then it appears in Microsoft Word. Like here, I can put there like names, And then here I can put any other thing, maybe uh, I can say subjects. And then I can decide to enlarge this column so that it can fit uh, the data well. And then from there I double click on the background. So already I have created the table using um, MS Excel. So, I want to go back so that I can show you another thing. So, uh, the methods that I have shown you there is that you can actually draw your table using those methods here. You, you can only choose the one that you know you are good at. The one that you know it is good that can suit you. And still you can go back there to table and then you come here where they have said quickie. They have said quick tables. 
they have say quick table so here that is where you can insert like you can insert uh, uh, the calendar in this format and if you want it to occupy the whole the whole page in a proper way you go there to layout and then you click on auto fit you click on um, on auto fit window then you go back to home and then you click on this one here so if you want this may to be there at the corner or to be in the middle or to be at the start that is how you can do it so this is the calendar for may and if you want to design that calendar you can use these tables you can see here the table designs you can see here you can use any kind of design that will uh, fit uh, your calendar so i want to erase this so that i can go back there to where I, I got the calendar i go there to insert tab and then i go to quick tables I can choose this one like December and then I go to layout I want to fit the window it will appear like that so that is how you can insert the calendar using this particular uh, Microsoft Word however it depends with the kind of versions you are using so if you are using the latest version you will come here you click on that and then you will see here they have said new you will click on it and then you will see uh, some templates displayed here whether for uh, for calendars or invitation or any other they will be displaying here but for this version uh, even if you click here on calendars here it will not come because they have it's like they have deactivated the service for this because this is a little bit uh, old the old version for microsoft word but if you check the latest one you'll see those uh, templates have displayed themselves here and then you can proceed with creating your own calendar so uh, i want to show you how you can actually create uh, no, you can insert the page number. You will be required to come here to insert, and then you go to page page number. You choose either it is top or bottom. So you can choose like bottom. People use bottom so much, so I can use this bottom. And you can see there's this page number down here. So I can still come here to page number, and then I go to... I can I, I go to this remove the page number I want to use that one of the top like that or I can decide to use this format of the page number you can see here the way it has appeared so this is the way I wanted to show you some of the things concerning tables concerning uh, calendar and also concerning uh, page number so guys if you found this video productive and i want to be part of my youtube channel please subscribe so that next time when i post a video like this you'll be able to be notified thank you see you in the next video